Hello everyone. Um, today I'll give you a simple way to approach the use of digital technologies for plans work. This approach can be useful especially to those offices that are now beginning to integrate digital technology into their program work, but are wondering how to start. Okay, let's begin with this acronym right here that is quite often used in the field of digital development. You have probably seen it before. ICT4D, in other words, Information Communication Technologies for Development. Since it's an acronym and starts with ICT, it may turn away many people who don't regard themselves as fluent technologists. But let's not shy away here. I think this acronym can tell us a story and give us some good advice. Okay, let's move on. If you look at the first letters of the acronym, the ICT begins with I and C, which stands for information and communication. But if you look closer, it's two thirds or 66% of ICT. So, what does this tell us? Well, understanding the information and communication flows and needs of people and organizations is the most important step before jumping to the T, which stands for technology. If we want to understand how the information flows between different stakeholders, for example, pupils, teachers, parents and government officers, who would be the best people to analyze that. Within plan, it would probably be the program people. Community facilitators, program specialists, uh, managers, and obviously people themselves in the communities, institutions, schools, youth groups, and so on. Without this understanding, it's very difficult to make any good decisions on what kind of technologies would be at most valuable. Okay, how to gain understanding of I and C information and communication needs. One simple but effective way is to take a piece of paper and draw all the main stakeholders on it. Then visualize the current information and communication needs of each stakeholder with arrows and symbols. You can also make notes of power relations, gender equalities, existing infrastructure and other points that are relevant to understanding the situation. Once you have the drawing, preferably produced together with the stakeholders, it is much easier to present the case for those who are experts in technology within plan or external, externally and have a discussion. All right. Then let's move on to the T. In other words, technology. Once we know the information and communication needs, flows and bottlenecks, we can search for the best solution. There are a wide variety of digital technologies and services available and new ones are continuously being developed. Just to name a few. You could look at mobile devices and services, or how to enable connectivity to internet, what digital collection tools there are in the market, what kind of computers would be feasible for classroom use, how drones and quadcopters could be used for example in community planning and disaster risk, risk management. What smartphone applications could be of help, say, in literacy pedagogy? How different sensors can automatically measure humidity, temperature or heart rate? And even how satellite photos could be helping us in making better decisions when preparing communities for, example, floods. And Let's not forget good old radio channels and basic SMS and audio on mobile phones. Since definitely 
it's not only the latest technology that works, it's also about what works best in each context. Okay, but here's a twist. While the use of technology should be based on the identified needs in our programs, it's also true that technology can bring us opportunities people haven't thought of. Think about yourself. Did you ever ask for Google search or a smartphone? Probably not. It just landed to the markets and once there you started thinking how it could be useful for your life. Thus, being aware of what's happening in the field of digital technologies keeps us informed and can feed as new possibilities to our programs. In other words, while keeping us firmly grounded to the program re realities, it's a two-way street. I see influences uh, the technological choices and technology informs the information communication possibilities and new opportunities here. In practice, program staff and the IT staff need to give a warm hug to each other. Just to grab a cup of coffee or tea and have a good chat with your T or IC colleague. Well, you don't have to be either or, you can also combine both sides as much as possible. But hey, we are not finished yet. The remaining part of the acronym is still left. We have four development. So naturally, none of this should take place just for its own sake, but rather to help us achieve the goals we have set to our programs, together with right holders and duty bearers. Technology might not always be the best use of limited funds. In some cases, you might come into the conclusion that the needs of the project, or rather rights of the people, are best realized, for example, through purely social innovations rather than technological ones. Anyhow, there is pretty useful analysis of different development themes such as health, education and livelihoods mapped against digital services and technologies such as cloud, computing, mobile devices and power. Each view shows how different technologies can contribute to the partic particular team. Here you can see an example. Check out the Sustainable Development Goals ICT playbook made by NetHope and Partners. You can find the link in the comment section of this video. Well, at this point you might think that there are a zillion solutions out there. And you are thinking, how should I find the time and resources to test all of them to make the best decisions? You are right. If each, each office is evaluating lots of different technologies separately, then we'll reinvent the wheel uh, within the organization multiple times and lose time and money. Thus, one of the central ideas of the Digital Development Champion Network is to come up with tried and tested solutions that can be easily replicated in different countries and projects. There are already some solutions uh, uh, we are ready to recommend, but the solution portfolio takes some time to mature. Again, click a link uh, in the comment section to see the current version of the portfolio. Okay, this was all for now. Thanks so much. And thanks for watching. We hope to see you again in the channel. Bye-bye.